So we have a perimeter of a triangle question. And this information is given to us as three points. So I have my points right here at the bottom of the screen. A, negative 1, 5. B is 6, negative 7. And C is 8, 8. I did not graph these to scale whatsoever. Uh, I just put A, B, and C down on a triangle. And what I need to do is figure out which point is A and which is B and which is C. Luckily, they already came with those right here. So all I did was I called the first coordinate. This is the X coordinate of the A point. So I called it X with the little A. The five is the Y coordinate of the A point. So I called it Y A. And six is the B coordinate, uh, the X coordinate of B. Negative seven is the Y coordinate of B. Eight is the S coordinate of C. Eight is the Y coordinate of C as well. And then I computed three separate distances. So the first one up, we'll look at the AC distance. So I want to know distance between A and C. And I have that formula right here. You just take the X's, subtract them, take the Y's, subtract them. You got to square each of those and then take the square root at the end. So I got my C value for X, or my X value for C, my X value for A. You got to be careful when there's a negative because you're going to get a double negative. And of course, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive right here. The Y values were a little more straightforward. They're both positive, so that's a regular subtraction right there. A minus five is three, and then eight plus one is nine. Square those two. Nine squared is 81, three squared is nine. And add those numbers, you get square root 90. Now I have all the other ones worked out here, but they go exactly the same. You're subtracting X's, then you square it, subtract Y's, square it. The Main way, there's a few different ways to mess this up. One of them is to uh, mess up on a double negative. That's a very common mistake. Sometimes you could have a triple negative, depending on how things work out. So be careful. Here is another good example. We do get a negative 12 here, but what happens when you square negatives, they become positive. So make sure that your numbers are positive here. Another way to mess this up is uh, you might accidentally put maybe the C, the X coordinate for the C point in here instead of the X coordinate for the B point in here. So just be super careful. I'm trying to find the AB distance. So everything here should be AB, AB. So make sure you pay attention to your subscripts. All right, you do this three times, you get three numbers. They're each gonna uh, be a square root, probably not gonna reduce nicely. So I got 193 square root, 229 square root, and 90 square root. So we're gonna go ahead, those three numbers need to be added together. That's how you get the perimeter. So you add the AB length, the BC length, and the AC length. You're gonna get these sum of square roots, and you're just gonna leave it like that. Unless you're super lucky, uh, I doubt any of these are gonna reduce nicely for you. So just leave it like this and enter this as your answer.